Hey guys, Lockie Stewart here. So you guys are here because you wanted to find out what one of the most common mistakes are that really sabotage our goals on moving towards building muscle and burning fat, right? And some of you may already be aware of this, you're just not acting on it yet because I know I was aware of it for so long and it just took, you know, a few little things to be able to tweak it to start seeing results, which then obviously encouraged me to make a bigger change. And whether you're there or not, or you aren't aware of it at all, here we go. So the the first one is really the weekend benders or the weekend blowouts. You know, so a lot of people, myself included, I used to eat really well all week and train really hard and recover well, and then I'd be like, on the weekend, I've earned this. So I would just have a massive blowout, right? And I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but what a blowout was for me was drinking a lot of alcohol, recovering, so having that 5 a.m. kebab or just eating some nice greasy foods or even just getting into a lot of you know cake or wine and cheese, all the good stuff, right? And as a result of that, you know, the hangover the next day or how I felt the next day, I just wanted some nice greasy food and to just lay down, I wasn't very active. So for me, that was a weekend blowout, right? And that would last for you know two days, maybe three. And when you work that out, that weekend blowout, there's 52 weekends in a year. So if you're doing that every weekend, you're rewarding yourself with a blowout. You know, that's 104 days of the year, potentially with a couple of Mondays thrown in there, depends on how, how big the blowout is, right? So you can see there that that's nearly one third of the whole year, which you're, you know, you're not, working towards building muscle and you know burning some fat and as we know the recovery is really important the nutrition is really important and you know how we feel about ourselves to have the motivation and the energy to get into the gym is also really important so you know what changed it for me and enabled me to you know get through that uh, weekend blowout time was really just understanding that hey yeah it's all about balance so you can have those weekend blowouts but I don't want to do it consistently. What was more important to me, and which is what I'm assuming while you're, you're watching this now, is that you do want to build some muscle and you do want to burn some fat to have that ideal body for yourself or you know, whatever the goal is, right? So for me, I had to work out, hey, it might just be once a month now instead of, or once a fortnight, just slowly start making some changes, right? So you allow your body to recover. You start really to make long-term good food choices so it's not just Monday to Friday, it enables a weekend, so you hit, you know, 14 days straight on the good food, and then you'll start seeing results. And you know, we all know once we get results, we stay more and more focused and committed. All right. So if you can just plan out and have a think to yourself, how often do I have that weekend blowout? Right? Is that affecting me? If if it is, cool. Cut back. How can you cut back? Can you not drink as much? Can you not have the bad foods? Can you? Try and just do it, you know, maybe the Friday night and then be active for the rest of the weekend and do your meal prep, right? So there's a few things to sort of take away from this that can really help you uh, move towards uh, creating sustainable, I guess, body that, you know, is building some nice muscle and burning that fat and staying nice and slim. So that's what really changed it for me. I know that if you guys stick to that or plan it out for yourself, you're going to see some massive improvements in yourself and you're going to be stoked to continue. So... If you want to subscribe or get some more uh, tips from me, as I'm going to share more about my journey on how I, you know, built some muscle and burnt fat, which was really awesome. Uh, make sure you add me to your contact so you get my weekly email and it pops into your inbox. Look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Put it into action.